Hello Brewtubers, I'm back with another tasting video and this time it's a mystery homebrewed pale ale. And the inspiration for this comes from a Brewtuber I follow in Australia called Basic Homebrew and in July 2021 he did a mystery beer tasting. So I've got a link to that in the description. Anyway, I told him that I had this mystery homebrew kicking around and maybe I'd do my own video. I just didn't think it would take me this long to get around to doing it. But here I am. I'm actually standing off camera since that's how Basic Homebrew filmed his. And besides, I thought it'd be fun to try something different. Plus the setup was really easy. Now, for clues on the beer, I am going to be relying on my brewing notes and also the white bottle cap with the number 49 written on top. And because of that, I know it's one of five pale ales that I brewed between the fall of 2020 and late winter 2021. And that's a span where I brewed 20 batches at five gallons each, or 19 liters. And 13 of those were pale ales. So probably not going to be much hot presence. And uh, as a result, I'll have to look elsewhere for clues. Anyway... Here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and pop this thing open and see what we got, for better or worse. It's, uh, it's, it's lively. I can tell you that much. There's the foam cap right here. Oh boy. Same thing happened to Basic Homebrew when he poured his mystery beer. But he was smart and used a large mug. I'm an idiot. I've got mugs. Thought about using one. In fact, I should have grabbed one when I saw the phone cap in the bottle. Let's just let that sit there for a second and settle down. I'm going to go get another glass. So, let's do the overflow here. And uh, that'll be good enough. Smells like beer. I think I know exactly what this is. Um, I'm not going to try to guess at this point. As you would expect, it is crystal clear. Um, you know, after that much time, it should be. Uh, again, it's got quite a bit of carbonation. That's something else, man. I don't much want to dive into that yet. So we'll just, uh, we'll come back in a few minutes when it's died down. Okay, this, um, this foam's died down some. Um, let me set that over there. So let's get a little bit of uh, the aroma. Getting a little bit of, um, just a little bit of caramel. A hint of sweetness. Not much else. I really think I'm just going to go ahead and dive into this and see what I've got. Here we go. Cheers, guys. I'm getting biscuit and like a hint of tea. Um, 
It's a little oxidized too, as you'd expect, which is probably where the tea flavor is coming from. Nice bitterness, but nothing hoppy beyond that, really. Now, there was a time when I knew exactly what this beer was, and I just put off drinking it, and it stayed in the fridge until I finally forgot what it was. But I still knew the time frame that it came from. So, based on that and my records and what I'm getting here, I'm going to say it's our house pale ale uh, that I brewed in August 2020 and bottled uh, a few weeks later in September. Uh, batch number 194, about two years old if I'm right, and I'll put the recipe up here on the screen. I can't say that I'm 100% sure on this, since uh, three out of every four beers I brewed in that period were pale ales, but I have made an honest guess here. So um, my apologies if this was a bit anticlimactic. I do wish I could be more certain. All right then. Now, if you don't already know, uh, Basic Homebrew has another channel called Basic Stealth Camping, and it's great. I've watched all of his videos and, and I always learn something new, and um, I put a link to that in the description as well. So, big shout out to Basic Homebrew, Basic Stealth Camping, and thank you very much for giving me the inspiration to do this video. Cheers, mate. Okay, I'm going to step away for a minute and then I'll come right back and do a couple more shout outs. Well, that was a lot of fun and, and a challenge too because of all the pale ale that I was making back then. But here's the thing. In my brewing journal, there are little gaps in some of the bottling notes for that time frame. And I don't know why. I mean, even the bottle cap. I only wrote the number 49. Not enough information. Uh, I normally take really good brewing notes, so it's a fluke that I even ended up with a mystery homebrew in the first place. And uh, lesson learned to always take good brewing notes. So there you have it. That'll just about do it for me. Uh, but before I go, I do want to give a shout out to the Grimbarium Brewer been following his channel just over a year now and also a shout out to Cheshire Homebrew now I, I wasn't even active on YouTube when I first found his channel five or six years ago I guess but um, yeah I really really enjoy their channels so cheers guys well done now a lot of you already know the Grimbarium Brewer and Cheshire Homebrew, but for those who don't, I've put links in the description. So be sure to check out the channels and subscribe. And that will do it for me. Um, I have another video I hope to post really soon, so look out for that. And until then, thanks for watching and happy homebrewing. Cheers.